My name is Alan Miller, and I am the Area Director for Young Life here in Central Virginia. I'm uh, Brent Schlesman, and I lead at Brookville High School. I'm Heather Mingle, and I'm a staff associate for Young Life. Young Life is a Christian organization designed to reach teens who don't know the Lord and to be able to introduce them to Christ and His love for them, and furthermore, to disciple them and just grow their faith uh, in Jesus. Young Life has proven to be a tremendous way to express my faith, and uh, it's a great way for me to see to it that kids who are outside of the influence of the church have a chance to hear about Jesus in terms that they can understand from somebody who has taken the time to build a friendship with them that they feel safe with. I got involved as a junior in high school. I um, got asked a couple of times when I was a sophomore, but I didn't want to go um, for a while. And then finally my friend convinced me in my junior year and I was hooked as soon as I went. Young Life owns about 25 camps uh, camp properties across the United States. These properties really are like resorts for teenagers. They are very, very nice. Um, made that way so that when kids come, uh, they are surprised by the quality. They're surprised by the, uh, the fun activities that we have for them. Uh, all of that is done so that they might at the same time be surprised by what they hear about Jesus. My friends convinced me senior year to go to summer camp actually at Saranac Lake in New York. So I, I, uh, I went to summer camp and it was, it was just a blast. I had so much fun and that was, that was the only reason I went is just to have fun. And I really just saw the ministry of Young Life in its full picture at, at camp that week. Uh, I never really understood it before then. I was already following the Lord. I just never got involved and I really just saw how great of a tool it was uh, to just introduce kids to Jesus and um, show him his love. You would think maybe in a town with so many churches, uh, an outreach meeting that was separate from the church wouldn't be needed, but it, it certainly is. And it has steadily grown uh, over the years since I've been here. I've been here 25 years now. We started out with about six or seven leaders, volunteer leaders. Uh, now we have about 70. So we've grown a tremendous amount. We're very thankful for that. And there still are a lot of high school kids and middle school kids that we would love to reach and build relationships with. One of my favorite moments was when I was sitting in the rocking chairs with Deja, who I had brought to camp last summer and we were just, it was the last day of camp and we were sitting there and she was sharing with me how she just met the Lord the night before and she fully gave her life to Christ. And she's explaining to me that in her past couple of years, she had really hit a rock bottom. And there was one specific moment in her life where she realized that she needed a change, she needed a saving grace. And she remembers the exact moment when she met me. And for me, that was such an incredible moment for me to hear that the Lord chose to use me. He didn't have to use me in her life, that He chose to use me. So I've had the opportunity to actually coach soccer at the school I lead at. That has just been a blast. Uh, last year, um, we brought Brookville its first ever conference championship for soccer. So they've, they've never won before. It was my first year coaching and the head coach's first year being the head coach. Just get, getting to hang out with the guys every day, Monday through Friday. Yeah, it was, it was, it was amazing. We have a meeting once a week that we simply call Young Life Club and that is an opportunity for teens to come and just have a crazy fun time for about an hour. Club, club is so hard to put into words. Club is controlled chaos. <laughs> Whenever a high school kid asks me what is club, I just tell them to come and see. It is a night where you will indefinitely feel loved by the people that are in the room. And that hour is wrapped up with about a 10 to 12 minute club talk what we call it, uh, and we just talk about the gospel message. And we try to describe Christ, who He is, uh, and, and why He came, and what that can mean to us. You will have fun, you will have a crazy amount of energy, and you will be able to think about life and what you're made for. I would probably want to encourage high school or middle school kids to come and enjoy the fun of an evening with a bunch of folks who are going to love them 
uh, in a wonderful way, in a, great, in a way that they are probably not familiar with. One of Young Life's taglines today that I love is, you were made for this. You were made for this. You were made for this.